Hello you guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary and you should definitely subscribe down below so that you never miss out on a video from me. And as you guys can tell by the title of today's video, I went prom dress shopping. And that might be kind of confusing considering if you have been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that I actually already graduated high school. I graduated last year, 2021, and Zach has been graduated from high school for five years now. <laughs> so it would be very confusing that I went prom dress shopping. Well, because of COVID, I actually didn't get a junior or senior prom. Junior prom was canceled altogether. Senior prom they had, but it was basically a homecoming. They were doing it exactly how they always did homecoming and there was a lot of restrictions and stuff and I just didn't feel like it was worth it to go. Well, Zach decided that because I didn't get to go to either one of my proms that he was going to throw me a prom um, for the two of us. It's gonna be at the end of April, so right around, you know, normal prom season. So my mom and I went out today and we went prom dress shopping. We drove to Pennsylvania and we went to a place called The Winner. It is a like, just huge dress store and they have literally all kinds of dresses. They have wedding dresses, they have bridesmaids dresses, they have prom dresses, they have homecoming dresses, they have mother of the bride dresses, they have special occasion dresses. They literally have everything. That place was literally gigantic. They also register every dress that's bought and for what school it's bought for so that no two people at the same school can have the same prom dress, which I think is literally crazy. There was a little diner next door called Called Donna's Diner I believe um, and it was really really cool it was like retro themed and the food was really good actually so we ate there first and then went over into the store and we just kind of started looking around a lot of their dresses were very very expensive and I find it very difficult to justify spending that kind of money on a dress that I'm only gonna wear once so pretty much my only qualification for the dress was that I had to be able to wear it more than just for this one specific night. Like I needed it to be versatile enough that I could wear it to another formal event, you know, somebody's wedding, uh, a party of some sort, like something where I could wear it again. And I also did not want to spend more than $300. So I'm going to kind of show you guys the dresses that I tried on, kind of go through them, tell you what I liked and what I didn't like about each of them. You guys can kind of guess which one that you think I got. I'm obviously not going to share it yet. Starting on the first floor, I believe I tried on four dresses on the first floor. The first one was this really pretty red dress that my mom actually picked out. And it was really interesting because the um, underneath layer was like short, like a homecoming dress. And then the on top layer was see-through and had like a lace detailing. Um, and it was long like a prom dress and went all the way to the floor. And I thought this one was really, really pretty. I liked it a lot. I would say that the only downside to this one was that it was more of like a prom dress. It would be hard for me to find uh, somewhere else to wear it, but I really, really, really liked it. The second one that I tried on was this maroon-ish dress. It, it looks maroon, but in like brighter lighting, it almost has like a purpley undertone to it. So it's kind of interesting, but it was a very, very simple dress, which I love. Um, I love simplistic clothing and it had a slit in the left leg and it had like these two little cutouts like on the rib cage which I thought were really really cute all around I really really enjoyed the maroon one the third dress that I tried on was this uh, like gray dress and this one was also really simplistic which I loved and the bottom part of it like where it hit the floor was like this weird like wavy ruffly material kind of thing and I didn't hate it but I also didn't love it and it kind of laid weird too too, but I loved the simplicity of it. I thought gray would be a really cool color to wear. I've never worn gray to a dance before. The fourth dress that I tried on, I loved so much. My mom actually found it. It was sitting alone by itself. There was no other dress like it. And it was like this, um, I want to say like a champagne color and it was glittery all over. It had a really deep plunge in the front, but it wasn't like expensive exposing anything at all like it didn't look like over the top or anything at least in my opinion I, I don't think it did and I just I loved the way that it flowed at the bottom and the back had like this really pretty like crisscross like strap detailing it was so so 
so pretty the only downfall to that one was that it had some places like up here with the straps where it laid kind of weird but like other than that like i freaking <laughs> loved this dress and then after we finished with those four dresses we went upstairs to the second floor and looked around and we found a couple up there that i like so the first one on the second floor was this green dress which also is a color that i've never really worn before for any kind of special occasion or anything and the front of this one I loved I think it was so pretty it like conformed to my body really well it flowed really nicely at the bottom um the only downfall to this one was the back I usually am a fan of like a crisscross detail in the back I think it's very very pretty but I didn't like how chunky the straps were in the back now I wouldn't really be seeing the back at all so it wasn't like a huge deal but I didn't love it then we went back into the clearance section and um looked at some dresses back there I think I tried on two from the clearance section so the first one was this really classy black dress it was plain black it had like a kind of like a cutout like in between the chest area which I thought was really pretty and it flowed really nicely it was great um, it was a little bit tight and it also laid a little bit weird like out here but it was very very minimal and classy and I just I loved it a lot and then I also tried on this shimmery pink dress which the shimmery pinkness of it I thought was really really pretty but it also laid very very weird in some areas we kind of noticed that the clearance dresses were almost like defective but they were very affordable which was awesome it was a little more promy as well but um it didn't really bother me at all uh, I thought it was very very cute and that was all of the dresses that I tried on I really didn't try on that many um and I was able to find one that I liked uh the other thing that I think was really really nice about the fact that this is like just a private prom between Zach and I and it's not like an actual school prom is that there's a lot less pressure like I didn't feel as much pressure to make sure that like I found the absolute perfect dress that everybody was gonna love and that was gonna look so good in pictures because it is just gonna be us and it's just a special night for us like as long as I liked it like who cares you know it was a really really fun and good day I got some cute Instagram pictures as well so make sure you go follow me on Instagram so that you guys can see that and you guys will see the prom pictures when they're posted and also comment down below and let me know which one you think that I got and yeah that is everything that I have for you guys today if you enjoyed make sure to give this video a big thumbs up let me know if you are going to prom this year and what color dress you got I would love to know yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye